Anyo sanya, you're here with the fake Opalek, and for this video, I am going to teach you how I usually record and stream my OBS videos, and I will also teach you how to do templates in CapCut so you could edit fast. So there, let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is click on settings, and then go to video. You should change the base canvas resolution to 2560 by 1080. So over here, you have to type it because wala siya sa drop down. And I'm gonna show you the next screen of what it will look like once you set it to 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So here's what a 21 by 9 aspect ratio looks like. So if we're gonna revisit the settings, this is what I placed for the video. As I said, you're gonna set it to 2560 by 1080. And then for the output, uh, just go to output mode, click on this drop down and go to advanced. And um, depending on your rig, if um, your graphics card is a bit low end to mid end you can rescale your output to 720p so this is the resolution over here and the encoder is set to this one for your streaming on twitch or youtube or whatever then go to recording yeah we just set everything here as it is um the encoder settings over here i set to 18,000 kilobits per second bitrate and also if you want to capture our replays uh enable the replay buffer over here and then just set your maximum replay time to around 45 to 60 seconds and take note of your memory usage so there um if you want a keyboard shortcut for the replay buffer i suggest going to hotkeys and then look for the save replay command here so in this example i'm using the minus sign as my hotkey for saving replays of my gaming highlights so let's design the canvas so usually when i do a 21 by 9 aspect ratio I, the game screen is usually here to the right so I, I'll, move, I'll just move it here a bit so after putting the screen to the right side what i usually do is add a video capture device and you create let's say a, a webcam so in this uh, demonstration i'm actually using an old android phone as my webcam we're just gonna select it here let's look for Irian webcam and there you should see my face I'm over here so what I usually do is just right click and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise then I just resize my my screen so this is this is what I use now whenever I stream or record raw video in OBS so this is the entire setup so if you want to get a bit fancy, you could also add a background. So what I do is I go here, I add the media source. And then yeah, I, I already have something here. By the way, you can download the stream video backgrounds uh, in Pixabay or Pexels. I as far as I know they have uh, stock videos. So for this example, I let's say I wanna use this as the background. So there we go, just check the loop and it should be there. I use this as like an overlay for my game. So I'm just gonna put this here. Wait, let's put let's put the OBS screen back at front. So just you can see my OBS screen. There we go. Then after that, I'm going to add a game capture device. So I already have Farlight 84 open, so you should see what it's gonna look like. So let's capture any full screen application. Let's wait for Farlight 84 to pop out. It should pop out. Um, let me see. Oh, there we go. There, it's already out. So you just move it here. And voila, you have your raw OBS file. This is going to be the file that you're going to use for the entire duration of your video editing workflow. So up next, we're going to head straight into CapCut and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next. Save a screenshot of your video screen. So there are two ways. First off is using um, OBS itself. So you're gonna right click on your the preview screen and then you click on the screenshot preview and then it will save you know, it will save a screenshot to the directory that you've chosen. So for example I've saved it in this directory. I'm gonna show you guys the screenshot and there this is the screenshot okay major screenshot section but yeah you get the idea so this is another way of saving a video still 
before you edit in CapCut. So what, this is VLC player. What you're gonna do is go to tools first and check your preferences and go to video and check which directory your screenshot is gonna save. So for this example, I already set it. But if it's not in the directory that you want, you can just browse and change this path over here. Use the shortcut Shift S and the screenshot of this video still should be saved. There we go. And now we can proceed to CapCut. Okay, let's go to CapCut and now create our gaming template. So you just go for a new project. Then what you're gonna do is um, import the screenshot. So I'm just gonna drag the VLC snapshot that I took over here. And then there we already have our picture. And what you're gonna do is just drag it here. Okay, lalagay niya lang siya dito sa timeline. Just put it on the timeline. So we don't really like the ultra wide um, edit. So we're gonna create a template for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and IG, Facebook Reels. So what you're gonna do is go here, click on the ratio, and set it to 9 by 16. And your screen should look like this. And then what I usually do is make three copies of this screenshot. So I'm, I'm gonna show why. So just make two more. So para hindi magulo, you hide the first two first. Wait, what the fuck did I just say? Did that rhyme? <laughs> anyway, let's go here for the first um, screenshot. You right click and edit crop. I must show you guys why it's way easier to edit here. So let's say I wanna get my face. You just set this to 9 by 16 and drag your mouse to the very left. And there you go, it's crop. Magic. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, we're gonna hide this first, okay? So that you guys won't get confused. So let's open the next one. Uh, I'm guessing this is the game screen. So we're gonna right click on this, edit, and then we're gonna crop. And same thing, but the difference is we're gonna pick the landscape crop, so the 16 by 9. We're gonna pick this, and then we're just gonna move this to the right. And there we go, it's crop. <laughs> See, it's super fast. And then the same thing here on the third one. We're also gonna do a nine, uh, a nine by sixteen. So yeah, that's my face, and this is everything. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna adjust one of the pictures. So as you see over here, this other screenshot is kind of covered. So this is my editing technique whenever I do uh, shorts of FPS games. If you want a head camera like this one, okay? And you also want to see, uh, let the audience see your keyboard and mouse. So this is one of the advantages of having this kind of layout. So since you see here that my screen has some excess, you know, it has some excess stuff over here. What, we're, what I usually do is I, I just mask. So I just go here, I click on the mask. Okay, wait, that's the wrong setting. Why am I placing rectangle? It should be split, I'm sorry. Yeah, just go for split. And then just move your, yeah, just move this thing. There we go. And then you have the head over here. And then adjust accordingly, according to your taste. Um, usually I like um, my head to be over um, on top of this gaming overlay. So, yeah, it's covered. It's covering the game. So, I'm just gonna fix it again. Put this up a bit. There we go. So, the reason I want to put this on top because sometimes I do some keyframe animations. So, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys one of the vertical video clips that I did um, using that effect. Anyway, um, let's just continue with the template. So, you can also do a masking over here in the lower in my lower body over here so let's choose split i think it should be the other way around there we go yeah let's rotate it to 180 and there so if you're happy with the display of your face it's like you're chopped off <laughs> and then that's the time you adjust the game screen so this is the game screen now we just move it like this okay and put this somewhere down here. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, let's put my face up here a bit. Uh, I think I... Wait. 
Let me check the masking. Oh, hati na mukha ko. Okay, there. I think that that should do. There. If you're happy with your template, I suggest you just save this. So, CapCut already auto saves this project. Uh, I just suggest just rena renaming this. So, let's just do vertical gaming um, clip template. So, we have template number one. So, this is the FPS template. You, if you can go further if you want um, let's create another template so another method is we can use the standard way of um, showing um, what do you call this we're gonna do the blurred background effect so we're gonna pick this screenshot of this this game uh, let me chop off that one yeah I'm gonna move my face up here then let's put the one that I pasted a while ago below here. Oh wait, that's not that's not what I meant. This one there should be under. Then what I usually do is just enlarge this, okay? And then go to uh, effects and uh, search for lens and look for the blur effect. So over here is the blur. You just click and drag it here to the track below, and voila, you have a blurred gaming screen effect. So this is the standard if you guys prefer this type of layout. And then you can just adjust. Um, you can move the screen a bit. You can adjust again the masking of your face. Just move this below. Oh wait. You, yeah. You just move this below and there we go. You have a second gaming template. And then if you want to be more creative, there is another template that I would like to share with you guys. If you want to make this face circular, you can absolutely do that. Let's, let's just duplicate this and then, I don't know, let's move it. Let's create another template. We can center this. Um, maybe swap some layers. There is a way to swap layers so we can push this behind. Or actually, um, just, yeah, just retain this as is. So what we're gonna do with this face, <laughs> instead of the... Uh, split you can actually do a circle mask instead if you want to be a bit fancy so just click on circle and then move your face like this then there we go you have uh, something yeah you have a template and then just move your face somewhere i guess this this is centered Ayan. so that this is another gaming template for you guys to use and you can adjust accordingly so let's say you want your face here just lower this thing here and voila that's how you create your gaming templates so just save this um CapCut will auto save it says here it's auto save the next thing that we're gonna do is actually edit the video so i'm just gonna show you how fast it is to edit here so the next thing that you're gonna do is you can upload this you can upload this to your um, CapCut account. So if ever you're editing from a different PC, let's say, and you're gonna install CapCut, at least you have access. So we're just gonna upload this. And I think you can also upload your files for free. So although I'm subscribed to the Pro version, you can, you can absolutely uh, back this up. So the reason I save projects as um, JPEGs first before doing the video edit so that I could save space. So as you can see here, the project size of this vertical template is just 2.3 MB. And look at the other videos that I did here. I know, maabot ng 7.2 gig. Ayan, you get the idea. So, so going back here, if I'm going to create a um, highlight reel of vertical shorts, what I usually do is just duplicate this and then I work from here so let's say so wala na kayong gagalawin dito you're not gonna touch anything here let's say I just wanna get um, one of my sweaty far light highlights and want to create a quick um, vertical video so what I will do is I just drag one of the videos here on the media screen and then here's where the magic actually happens so I would pick I would usually pick my template or let's just move this here because masasagap yan. I I will show you why. So for this one, it's so easy lang gagawin you guys. You're just gonna 
get your video, the one that you imported, you're just gonna drag it here in each of the trucks. And then, yeah, just leave this check, replace clip, and do the same thing for everything. Okay. Just follow, follow my lead. And then what you're gonna do, just extend everything here. Tapos! You have a highlight. Tapos na, guys. Yan na yun. <laughs> so, you just lower the volume on your volume here. And it's up to you guys if you wanna put some fancy, um, you know, subtitles and shit. But you have the base. Uh, you have everything edited already. So, you don't need to touch anything. So, if you play. You see? <laughs> it's so fast. Diba nakaka-mind blown? Uh, and say you want to use another template. Konware, you don't like to use this template. You can use other templates. So then use this one. So the same thing, guys. Uulitin nyo lang. You're just gonna do the same shit. Yeah. And then, you know, drag. Select everything and then wait for this cursor to appear and drag everything. And this is the second template. Wow! And you know, you know what's gonna happen. So yeah, third template. Same thing, guys. Same thing. Parang wala pang 15 minutes siguro. Tapos na kayo mag-edit. Pag ganito lang yung gusto nyo yung pakita sa audience nyo. But I doubt that you will do that. Because you're gonna put pa some fancy editing and shit. And this is template number three. Ayun! And that wraps up our tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, kindly like and share if you would. Yeah, if you like the video, if you find this valuable, um, comment down below if nakatulong ko sa inyo. And I'm gonna leave you with the clip that I edited using CapCut as promised. And again, this has been the Fake Opalek. Paalam sa inyong lahat and happy editing. So, oh, it's my, my capture na yung BNA. Oh, huwag kayong mamatay. Puta, ang dami nangyayari. Ah! Hindi, <laughs> ang re-revive lang ako mga puta kayo. Ay, gago may isa pa! Oh my God! Wala akong bala. Yup! <laughs> oh my God. Rush D. Yun! <laughs> Putang ina nyo! Okay, we won, we won. Ang ganda nun. Nag-clutch victory pa. <laughs> Clutch highlight pa. Nice, nice.